Holy crap, I'm freaking out. I was on my way home and I drove past a neighbor's yard and saw these. You don't see it yet, but you're about to. I had to turn the camera around. Oh my God, I already talked to them and got permission to be in their yard and to take them. You ready? Holy crap, y'all. It's June. It's the middle of June. Oh my God. And they're old and dry. Oh, so frustrating. If I had seen these yesterday. Okay, let's talk about these. These are Amanitas. These are not muscarias. They are not active. However, they are at the top of my list for the tastiest mushrooms on the planet. And I will be cooking and eating these babies. These are Amanita Jacksoni. And they are the cousins of the Amanita Cesaria. That's what Europe has. And they are in the Amanita genus, but the species in America is Jacksoni and in Europe, Cesaria. So, y'all, they taste freaking amazing and fantastic. Let's see if we can get an egg out of this one. <laughs> um, the universal veil doesn't usually stick to these. Every once in a while you might see it, but mostly like for IDing these, the stipe is gonna be yellow. See that yellow? And there's going to be really sharp striations on the edges all the way around the cap. And it's going to be a, much more of like an orangey color. This one looks a lot like the muscarias here because our muscarias are that peachy orange color. But in Europe, because your muscarias are so red, these definitely look very different. And they're easier to spot in Europe. But see how dried out? See, like some insects got a hold of this one. And they told me, they pointed to another place. See, there's the remnants of the egg sac. Um, they pointed to another place in the yard and wanted me to go look at some other mushrooms over there. So let's run over there. Nope, not in these, I don't think. Oh, wait. <gasps> Y'all, are these Verosa? Holy crap. <gasps> the destroying angels? Are they the most tastiest edible Amanita and the most deadly in one yard? Is this, these are definitely Amanitas. See, remnants of the, see the remnants of the veil. Um, I'm gonna run this by a group online for an ID. I'm in two groups that I trust. Oh, I came home. This <laughs> was ready to open. So we are going to talk about these, this, and this. But by the title, you already know what this is and this. Holy crap. I have been waiting for this for almost two months. I told them I would be reviewing it on camera and I asked for the author to autograph it. So... Let's get to it. Oh. Right? Y'all ready? <laughs> you ready? <laughs> oh my gosh. What? Yeah. Oh my god. So, here's the big question. Did they give accurate information about mascaria? Oh, y'all, look, the very first photo when you open the book. Let's do this like kindergarten, like primary school. You ready? Here we go. Where's the dedication? No dedication. This is the title page. But look, y'all, look at the first photo. Ta-da! This is a gorgeous book. All right. I'm going to point you downward. Oh, my God, y'all, the pictures. Holy crap, y'all, look! Oh, my God! Yeah, so see, 
this is the this is the Jacksoni. All right, see the picture, and we're gonna compare the actuals. Oh, there's Gracie baby crying to get in. Compared to the. Oh, okay, I'm coming. Hang on. What do you think, y'all? <laughs> oh, yeah, pretty damn close. Little Gracie, come on, you wanna get on camera? Look at this one. Look at this young one. She's a toddler now and getting into everything. She's all crazy with it. <laughs> Time to play. Amanitas have been implicated in many famous poisonings. Amanita lookalikes. Y'all, there's so much in here. Amanitas in popular culture. Amanita mushrooms and edibility. The phylloides. Cool, y'all, there's a lot in here. The parasites on the origin of the name fly agaric. Soma myths, psilocybin history, personal stories and potential futures. The amatoxins, out with the old and with the new, a better test for amatoxins. Oh, here's our persicinas that we have in the southeast. So, you know, the Parsifal Vados, they look a lot like the Cesarea, that yellowy orange and then the red in the center. They're very similar. The species of Section Amanita should be considered toxic. Fly agarics and panthers have muscomalmibacinic acid, possibly dangerous amounts in the panthers. Symptoms resulting from ingestion of these include nausea, vomiting, confusion, visual distortion, feelings of greater strength, delusions, and convulsions, followed by drowsiness, deep sleep that resembles a coma. That's it. So that's good. That's good, y'all. I'm so happy. I can't wait to just sit and digest this. I am going to make me a tea. All right, then, if y'all want one, I get absolutely nothing for sending them to you, sending you to them, <laughs> and this was not sponsored in any way, and I'm just excited because my channel is about the Amanitas, and holy crap, is this cool. I'm doing a live video this Saturday. I'm working on the one about the, the Amanita entities Please come to my live video. The description will have the time and all that in it. I came in the kitchen and look what I found. That would be the work of Freya. Whose first birthday is coming up, by the way? If you wanna see stuff about the cats, that's on my other channel. Amanita Dreaming, link in the description. Where we talk about the saga of my basement. Keep you updated on my garden and the shenanigans of the cats. Up there in that bird's nest are two Amanita muscarias. She's up there trying to eat them. I see you, Freya. I see you. <laughs> the forum, please get on the forum. I was interviewed by a channel called Adeptus Psychonautica. Trying to rotate this up. And uh, Adept of Psychonautica, y'all, if you like me, you will love this guy. His channel is freaking amazing and it deals with psychedelics and all kinds of cool topics about enlightenment, spirituality, trips, analysis, nature of reality. Um, he likes a lot of the same things that I like. And we had a fantastic conversation. So go to his channel. I'll link to it in the description. And find our interview and watch that. It was so fun. We really like each other. We really get along well. So I think that we are probably gonna do another collab. It depends on you guys if you tell me to. And then also I need you to vote on whether or not you want me to start doing live videos once a month. Okay, I'm done with you guys. I'm clocking out for the day. <laughs> I'm gonna go make me a tea and I'm gonna sit down enjoy my book. I love you beautiful people. I really do. And after dealing with so many unkind people in the comments, 
I think about all you wonderful, beautiful people and all of your wonderful, beautiful comments, and I'm so grateful for you guys. I have the best commenters in the best comment section. And our forum is full of such kindness, it's such a great community. In a world of people that are getting offended and addicted to being offended and fighting, it's a nice break. <laughs> my comment section and our forum. If you want to go find your tribe, you need to go to that forum. I'm grateful for you. Do you hear me? I am grateful for you, very. And I love you beautiful people.